Hi, this is Jeremy Wilburn from the University of Illinois at Springfield, and I just wanted to share a little bit about uh, how I use Google Alerts in Technorati to monitor the comments and other information that gets posted on the website, uh, both about my name and about the institution that I work for. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, one site that I use quite a bit is Google Alerts, and it's very easy to get set up. As you can see, all you have to do to create a Google Alert is put in some search terms. So we're just going to use my name, for example. Uh, then we have to set up the type where we want it to search. We're going to choose comprehensive for everything. How often we want the Google alert to get sent to us. And I'm just going to go ahead and do as it happens. Uh, and then I'm going to set up the email account that I want it to be sent to. So I'm going to go ahead and create the alert. And after I create a couple alerts, they show me all of the alerts here, uh, what type they are, how often it happens, and then I can always edit those. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my email, and I'm going to show you an example of what the Google alert would look like. Uh, this is an alert that I have set up for UIS. Um, it is one of the names that we use to identify ourselves, along with U of I Springfield and the University of Illinois at Springfield. Uh, but UIS is kind of the shortened name, and it, it tends to get used a lot in uh, non-traditional media and so on and so forth. Uh, but as you can see here, it pulled from the Lincoln Courier, which is a uh, local town newspaper. Lincoln's about 45 minutes from here, and they did an article about an employee of ours who was just recognized for uh, Employee of the Year who is from Lincoln. So they ran an article, and Google Alerts found that on their online publication and brought that information to me so that I could read it. It also goes to blogs and pulls... Uh, information from the titles, the content itself, and then from tags. So as you can see, my blog pu is pulled up here because I wrote about UIS. Uh, a former UIS employee who also still has strong ties to U uh, UIS, still blogs about us from time to time, kind of highlighting our student-based Prairie Star Radio, uh, so on and so forth. There are some things that you have to uh, accept when you sign up for a Google Alert. Uh, for example, when I type in UIS, we oftentimes get information about Unisys Corporation, whose New York Stock Exchange identification ID is UIS. So we do get information that is not specifically related to UIS, but regardless, you just kind of have to weed through that and find out what you need and what you can use. So, uh, moving on to Technorati, I'm going to go ahead and start back at the home page. Um, all you got to do here is this is more of an active one, whereas Google Alerts is more passive. I'm just going to type in a search phrase that I want to look for, and we're going to use my name. And it will pull up just a couple results for my name. So uh, if I find that four results for me seems kind of low, uh, I could look at my search results and see what they are. And I'm going to change those because they seem pretty limited. So I could change entire post to tags only. Entire post is good. Uh, I want to look for blogs with any authority so that any, even any student who's blogging about um, whatever they feel like and just happens to write about UIS because they came there on a campus visit, uh, but their blog is not established, then that would come up under the any authority versus some of the ones that would be some authority or a lot of authority. And then I could also change the language that I want them to come up with. So we're going to research and we're going to see that I come up with 24 results now. And it searches my Twitter, which is like an online uh, updating service kind of thing that I use for uh, connecting with other higher ed individuals. It also pulls my blog and uh, other news related feeds for myself. And I could do the same thing for UIS. And again, we would probably see that we get a lot of other uh, information that we don't necessarily need. So. We don't also, or we don't only have to search in posts. We could also look at blogs that are UIS related. And as you can see, we have, well, Tectorati pulls up 128 blogs. We don't own all of them. That would be pretty ridiculous. But uh, we could also look up photos and videos about uh, or pertaining to UIS. So those are just some of the ways that I use Google Alerts and Technorati. Uh, there's a lot more to it, but like I said, this is just an introductory course. So hopefully there will be more lessons and stay tuned. Thank you very much for listening.